How do you grow your business while actually having a good time in the process? Wouldn't that be great? Sometimes I call that process plurking, playing, working, learning, you know, it's kind of all in one. We tend to think of work as being goal oriented and play as the process. Why can't it be both? Well, I'm going to tell you about a game that I've been playing with myself that has really helped me to see some business momentum. Before I do that though, I just want to say I'm guessing that you're like me and that you tend to, when it comes to the marketing and sales side of your business, you tend to feel some resistance, a little bit of fear, kind of avoidance that comes up. And so maybe you do mass email blasts or check into social media or just sort of hope that something happens. And sometimes it does, which is great. And yet some part of you knows that there's a more powerful, conscious and deeper way to make an impact and to grow your business. And maybe you even know that what it has to do with is making real time connections with people. That's the nature of the game that we are going to be playing. But don't worry, it's not going to be as scary as you may have thought in the past. So three steps. The first step is a simple shift away from the typical idea of coming up with all these filters and categories and making some list of who you should call. Instead, you're just going to think of one first person, one next person to call and someone that feels good to call. You might kind of get some guidance and that person might come to you intuitively or it might be a question of who's somebody who inspires you by the nature of the way that they show up in the world or the mission of their business but they're doing something and they're being some way that inspires you and that you think you could have a fun conversation with, a stimulating conversation with and possibly support them in some way. So identify that person, that's step one. Step two is kind of the inner dynamics, the inner game that goes on. And the way that you can get to a more powerful place is by remembering the purpose, the passion, the heart of your business. Why are you doing this business? Why do you want to make an impact in the world? What do you actually care about? And on an even deeper level, what is the source of that care? And that might be for you um, an articulated mission and, and you kind of connect to it on a mental level. For others, it might be on a more heart-centered spiritual level where you get the love from somewhere and you're reconnected to that heart of your business. But get yourself in a powerful, grounded place and reconnected to who you are and why you're doing the work that you're doing. Okay, for example, for me, one of the biggest pieces of my work is I love working with people who are game changers, who are facilitators and coaches and teachers and who want to have more connection to their heart and to their purpose and their vision and to have more of an impact in the world. And maybe they got off track a little bit, even if they're successful and they want their work to be more enjoyable and more playful and creative. And so I help empower them to have more creativity and interaction in their work and to have more of an impact. So that helps me to remember that. So the third part, you've got the person, you're reconnected to yourself and you've released sort of the agenda of the call. Sorry, I didn't say it explicitly, but that's a big piece because a lot of the time when we think of sales, we think of how am I going to steer this conversation and manipulate it in a particular direction. That's the biggest shift of all in this game. You're letting go of that. It's simply a connection. You're gonna call that person and you're going to ask them if they're available to talk at that time and if not, set up a time. And once you are having that conversation, this third step is to let them know how they inspire you, how they impact you, and just that you want to hear what's going on in their life and what they're up to. What are their dreams? What are their goals? What's working? What's not working? Get a real sense of that person and listen really well. Oftentimes they'll want to reciprocate and they'll ask you also what you're up to and you can tell them about the game that you're playing and what work you're up to and maybe the conversation will naturally move into a direction of how you can serve them. But at some point you're going to get a feeling, and they probably are too, whether what you are offering, what service or product you're offering and whether it's going to be a good fit for them. If you sense that it would be, then connect to that heart and just make that request. Let them know maybe you have some sort of sample product or uh, maybe a, a time that you could set up to give them a taste of what it is that you offer. And if they're interested, awesome. You get to give them that taste and the conversation continues. If they're not, you can ask them if there's someone that they do know that would be a good fit. But it's a win-win conversation, even that first one. Just because you had fun, maybe you uh, referred each other to different people, Maybe it was an intellectually stimulating conversation or encouraging. Perhaps you gave each other resources, but there was no agenda. You were genuine listening, genuinely listening for whether this, you could be of service to this person. 
And that basically is the game. Connect to your heart and why you're doing what you're doing. Decide one person who would feel good to call and let go of agenda. Call them and have a conversation that's of service, feeling for if there's a moment to make another offer. So thanks again. My name is Leif Hansen of Spark Interaction. You can find out more about me at sparkinteraction.com in terms of teamwork and presentations. And in terms of my coaching work and working with professionals, you can find out more at leafhansen.me. I hope you enjoyed this and feel free to comment or connect with me personally if you have some questions. If you do play the game, I would love to hear how it goes. Let me know any way I can support you. Thanks a lot.